Creative cameras in games coming up. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, this is Omar Bafiki. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, welcome to this channel where I create game development tutorials and from time to time I upload my short films. If you're interested in this kind of content, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. And back to this video. Cameras are essential in games, by default, unless you're making text games. Developers have been using cameras in creative ways to send us a message without actually telling us. Let's take a look at some of these uses. One of the most common uses is guiding the player using the camera. You probably have seen in many 2D platformers that the camera is looking at the right side, hinting to the player where to go next. It's even used in third-person shooter games to hint at where to go next or where to look for cinematic reasons. You see how effective that is just by adjusting the framing of the camera. This method guides the players and works as a small hidden mechanic, but also tricks players at the same time from finding some hidden collectibles and treasures. If you go in the opposite direction, you might be rewarded for your curiosity. Another common use in racing games and when driving vehicles in general, the faster you go, the more backward the camera will move and switches to a wider angle with a bit of cam shake, which gives the player a better coverage when driving. Not only that, but it will sell the illusion that we're moving so fast. Also, they may use some post-processing like motion blur and maybe fisheye. Back to third-person shooter games. In Uncharted or Assassin's Creed, when we climb to a high place, the camera pulls back and uses a wider lens for two main reasons. One, to have beautiful scenery, and two, to give us the feeling that the player is going to a higher place by giving more of a bird-eye view and slightly losing control of the camera. In first-person shooter games, the same effect is applied by having a bit of a sway or slow camera shake to indicate that the player isn't stable in that high place, and it can be used to give the feeling that we're on a ship. So, you have seen how subtle changes that are used creatively can impact your game's visuals and feel. These are not the only uses, you can see it for yourselves when playing games. You will start noticing them and implementing your own methods to give your game the feel it needs. Let me know if you'd like me to do more videos like these, whether about cameras or general tips. Remember to share your observations in the comments below and I'm excited to read them. This is Omar Bofiki, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.